very young age, I realized that you know I was different. I always knew I was different. Different than other people? I mean, at five years old, I had a crush on Paul McCartney. I didn't have any gay role models, or ever knew any gay people. So I really didn't understand the feelings that I was having. The hardest thing for me was really admitting it to myself. It was just so hard to say. It was like, it's the end of the world. Oh my God, I'm gay. I grew up on a farm in Nebraska, Spain, Peru, which is uh, about as homophobic as you can imagine. And a very conservative, conservative city. And um, definitely one of the more conservative schools in the city. There's no way there was a possibility for me to come out in high school. There was, you know, the kids at school, obviously, who were calling me fag before I even knew that I was gay. My teacher in the fifth grade pulled me aside um, and told me to stop acting so gay. My dad found out when my girlfriend's parents went to my high school, requested my information, and called him at work to tell him to leave me, um, to leave their daughter alone. I was chased by a kid on a bicycle with a baseball bat. Um, chased me all the way home. I isolated a lot. I got really good at being who I thought everyone wanted me to be. I ended up creating characters that I thought would be better accepted. I spent a lot of uh, my time in, in high school sad and, um, and depressed and lonely. I felt as though I was fighting a battle alone. It just felt hopeless. My bullying was more so with my parents. They made me go to counseling until I was, quote, fixed. My mom had a really difficult time, and in fact, we didn't talk for about 10 years. It was really, you know, scary, the, the person in your life that, you know, you rely on most, telling you that you need to be a certain way in order for her to love you. My dad said you should really go to therapy, and he wished that he had uh, died during his heart attack rather than see that I had become gay. They weren't raised, you know, to, to accept homosexuality because of their religion. I knew that did not uh, mesh with my conservative family and my faith. Going to hell. God doesn't mean it that way. No longer a believer. It was just awful. I ended up finally confronting the, uh, the leadership of the church that I was attending and uh, said that I was uh, going to be leaving because I knew their stance regarding uh, gays and, and it was not going to be, uh, they, they weren't going to be supportive. It just felt hopeless. Then after I left, they um, performed their uh, turning Brad over to Satan ceremony. Literally praying like, God, if this is wrong, then kill me. No matter how bad it gets, it will get better. It gets better. It gets, it gets better. It, it gets, gets so much better. better. I promise. All of these times are just such a small blip on the radar. It gets better in a million different ways. It gets better. My coming out process uh, took quite a long time. I was uh, 44. 25. 16. 18. 17. I just didn't want to change the way things were, thinking that coming out might affect some of these relationships. And um, I have to say, the ones that I thought were going to be the worst uh, actually weren't as bad as I thought they were gonna be. Dad, yeah, I'm gay. He's like, and? I just remember the relief I felt. Just by telling one person, it takes all the pressure and the way of the world off. You just feel more comfortable with yourself. Once you say that I am gay, the world does not come crumbling down. Just being around friends and knowing that I can be who I am. It gets better because as you get older, you can choose to uh, surround yourself with people that love you and accept you for who you are. I could then choose my friends. You really can be selective. I found a church that accepts us. It gets better because time is an amazing thing. Just give it time. It's just only a matter of time before you can actually achieve your dreams. The family that had ostracized me and um, rejected me in the beginning, all came to my wedding and participated. If anybody had told me that years later, I'd be living a happy, joyful life out in the open in Los Angeles with a partner for 15 years, a wonderful partner, I would have said, you're crazy. I never thought I would find somebody like my wife. I never thought I would have kids. I feel really a lot of joy. Blessed. Incredibly happy. Full of excitement and wonder. I love my life. When you fall in love, that's the thing that makes it the best. And I couldn't imagine missing out on all that. If you're being teased, if you're being bullied, just hang on. Persevere. Just stick around. The real key is to hang in there. Just 
Know that you're special. special. Don't give up on yourself because there is so much more to life than what you're going through right now. Don't isolate. Talk to people. Find someone that you can talk to. A friend, a teacher, a coworker, a colleague. Different resource centers. Your parents. Know that you're not alone. Really try to, to open your eyes to the possibilities that are around you right now. I found activities that I enjoy and I found music and I found drama. I found something that allowed me to be creative. You create something out of your beliefs. The thing that kept me going was actually music and writing. Get it out there, Get write it down, draw a picture. The imagination is the most important thing a person can have. The only way to push forward is to imagine yourself getting through it and doing other things. We need you. We need the youth to stay in just to keep fighting and to reach out. You have no idea how many eyes might be watching you and how many people are looking to you as their beacon of light. And don't let anybody else make you feel dim or want to extinguish it. On the other end of it, you come out as something else and something really amazing. And I wouldn't change it for the world. Whether you're a theater geek or a jock, honor roll student or cheerleader, a musician or a gamer, or any other label people may pin on you, we're all the same in this way. At one time or another, we've all known what it's like to feel alone or misunderstood. Life might seem difficult at times, but be strong and remember, it gets better.